Pat Dye will forever go down as one of the great Auburn men. After all, his name is on the field at Jordan Hare Stadium. Dye coached the Tigers for 12 seasons, starting in 1981 and even served as athletic director for 11 of those seasons. The Hall of Fame coach knows a thing or two about the in-state rivalry. I had a chance to sit down with Dye at his Natasolga home. Ain't no easy way in life. Pat Dye went six and six in Iron Bowls, including a 1982 win in Bear Bryant's last regular season game. That game ended Alabama's nine game winning streak in the series and brought Auburn's competitive edge back to the Iron Bowl. What does the Iron Bowl mean to you? Well, it's the greatest rivalry in college football. You know, basically, you're Auburn, Alabama, and then you may be a Troy State or Jacksonville State or North Alabama, or Alabama State or Alabama a and &M. You know, you may be a fan of that, but you, you still got to choose between Auburn and Alabama. And uh, very few people, there's a few people say, well, you know, I don't care, but that's, that's hard to believe. One of Dye's greatest accomplishments while serving as athletic director was in 1989. He moved Auburn's home games against Alabama from Birmingham's Legion Field, where they played for 41 straight meetings, to Auburn's Jordan-Hare Stadium. And when Alabama came down here to play that game in 89, and they saw what was taking place on our campus, and they saw the tailgating and the, and the relationships among the Auburn fans and the Auburn people, they went back home and said, look, we can't, we got to match this. I said, if we're, we're going to be in trouble, and they did, and they have. And it's, you know, it's been good for Alabama, and I don't have a problem with that. But it's been good, great for Tuscaloosa, too. You know, it's been, you know, that, you play a game, uh, Alabama plays a home game in Tuscaloosa, it's worth several, several million dollars to that community. Just like when we play in Auburn, it's worth several million dollars to Auburn and Opelika. We turn to this year's Iron Bowl. Alabama looks to have its way with an Auburn team closing out a historically bad season. Is there any possible scenario that you see Auburn actually pulling a monumental upset? I think this Alabama team may be the best college football team I ever saw. And really and truly, you know, with our football team, we just need to roll it out there and go play just like we're playing in the sand lot. And, we're going to be a big underdog and just fight and scratch and play and have fun. And you know, that ball shaped funny. And then it'll bounce, it'll bounce some odd ways sometimes. We ain't afraid of Alabama. They're good. I mean, and give them credit for being good. But, uh, you know, they're going to keep you from, you know, buck, buckling your chin strap on and get your thing, game face on, go play and let's have fun. Mark the big ass off. <laughs> I'll end it on that. <laughs> Thank you very much, Coach. All right, that ball bounced pretty funny last time these two teams played in this stadium. Well, on the other side.